what's up YouTube welcome to my first tutorial today I'm going to show you how to load drum kits into your FL studio now if you're like me you probably make a lot of your own but sometimes you just need a little inspiration so you may want to download a drum kit or if you're just getting started it might be a good place to start so I'm not going to go through the downloading process but I'll tell you a good place to get kits from is warbeats.com they have excellent drum kits if you want to get those you'll have to register and then once you register you'll go to files and downloads you get two free downloads per day and these are excellent kits to have so I'm not gonna go into that too much we're just gonna get right into the tutorial so let's say we've already downloaded our drum kit and we've saved it wherever we saved it in my instance it's in my documents and my downloads all right, so what we're gonna do, leave that window open, go to my computer. If you don't have it on your desktop, just go down to the start menu and hit my computer right here. And you're gonna go to your C drive. In my case, it's F. Don't get me started on that, I have no idea why. But you're gonna go to your local disk drive And then you're going to go to program files once you're in program files you're going to scroll down to image line in this particular folder here if you have more than one version of FL studio they're going to show up here what you want to do is open the folder that you want your pack to go in if you want them to go into all of them you will have to do this individually I only have FL studio 10 so I'm going to open that then from there you want to go to data from data you want to go to patches and from patches you want to go to packs okay and this is the list of your drum kits that are already preloaded into your FL studio as you can see I already have some in here that I put in myself also so next thing you want to do is go back to that documents folder where your kit is then you want to take that kit and just drag it into that folder right there and that's pretty much it once you open FL Studio you'll find it under packs now if you do like I just did and you already have FL Studio open when you load your drum kit what you can do is hit this little button right here, this refresh button, and it'll pop up right down here. Okay, so there's my kit already loaded. For your drum kits, this is just a quick tip. If you don't like a whole lot of drum kits open at one time, if you're just using one kit at a time, you can actually go over here and click that button and go down to show only one folder content and that will allow you to just open one folder at a time once you open another one the one that you previously had open will close so that's just a quick tip for your drum kits and that's my tutorial I hope you enjoyed it comment rate subscribe and come back I'll be uh, doing some more FL studio tutorials as well as some M Audio Oxygen 49 tutorials because that's what I have and it's no cakewalk.